Hello, friends, Boris here, and today it's time again to analyze some top tier gameplay from the champions. Last time we did Anders Vergang, and today we have Julian van der Berry, who is the only undefeated player left in the champions, except for Vergang. They both have 270 and 0. 270. That is 9 30s in a row. That is really crazy. Crazy. And today we're gonna take a look at his gameplay and analyze that and also his team to simply try to find out what made him so successful in the champions. First out, we have his team here. It's a very strong team. He has R9, Vera, and also Inform Christian, Rule Breaker, Popa, and then that the special Mbappé and a very meta defense. The team looks great, of course. Also, some nice selection of chem styles showing that this guy knows how this system works with the chem styles and not putting Hunter on all players up front. And in the game he has a 4-3-1 mainly and playing it which is a bit uh, maybe odd. Or 9, not striker but Cam. He probably tried him out that, uh, as a striker but did not like him. So he has Cristiano up front instead and then Neymar Mbappé on the wings. And about his tactics you can find them on his channel. I will not uh, talk too much uh, uh, about that as he has a dedicated video talking about his tactics on his YouTube channel also in English as well. You should definitely check that one out. The link is down below. The tactics are quite similar to my own. And uh, also, well, as a key here, he has uh, his wingers to get into the box for crosses. But also he plays in a very defensive way, but without playing dropback. He has balanced, but he has the whole attacking quarter to come back on defense. And also he's using the D-pad tactics as well for the striker to drop back. So very, very compact, but without uh, playing a drop back tactic. And as you can understand, the key to be this consistent in for champions, you need to have a bulletproof defense. And this guy definitely has that. Time for the gameplay. And this was from this last weekend from Champs Channel. And of course, uh, this is uh, self-explanatory that he got the 30 wins again. This guy did not lose yet. And he's gonna find here a quite easy goal to score the first one. But now it comes to his key. Well, uh, what, made him, what made him so successful his defense and what he's doing at the back. He is, uh, first of all, using a lot of commands at the same time. You see here, you can see his uh, inputs. That is the speed jockey and also at the same time uh, pressing down that the secondary man press button, the R1 button to use the slight help from AI to apply pressure on the ball holder. But he's using some more techniques as well, which we will see a bit later. But here he gets uh, quite rolled, but instead of focusing on that, on the bullshit that it just happened on the screen, he's just moving on to the next moment and what he actually can control here and have impact on that is a keeper. He's gonna move that quickly and save this clean sheet for now. Chance for a breakthrough now for the opponent and he's gonna be ready now to, first of all, uh, select the right player with the right stick. And also you're cutting off this dangerous pass and not rushing it, not being too aggressive. He is very patient and very, uh, very structured in defense, always making sure to stop that uh, through ball first before anything else. And you can see in this uh, sequence here how uh, gathered and collected his uh, defense is uh, with his uh, attackers to come back on the defense and also the striker as well to drop back. It is hard here to find any opening. It is very, very compact and in this case... The opponent cannot uh, break that down. This time he has R9 in his cam, helping out in uh, defense and R9 as well. With some uh, great skills, of course R9 is R9. And you can see now also a lot of uh, variation in his skills in the end. With the ball rolls and it's 2-0. This guy though will find one opening after he fails with his offside trap, which he's using all the time. Offside trap, that is D-pad down down. This time that will fail. He finds a chance here and Inyaki Williams is strong. I guess that is his uh, scream card, aka a rule breaker. And this guy finds won't go back to 2 1. But this is something here that I like a lot how he recycles and has the patience here using this uh, triangle with the uh, winger, midfielder, and fullback. He has here no options going forward. Well, then just going back here, he has always this option when the midfielder is staying back while attacking. And here, uh, from the fullback just moving forward, advancing, winning space and very well timed pass as well and here he's just gonna have a huge space no mistakes, uh, heel to heel flick as well using uh, like we said a lot of uh, different skill moves but opponent uh, will get uh, one more chance before uh, second off uh, the pass again to Inyaki Williams he is of course very strong 
But again, he's gonna move the keeper perfectly. In this case, uh, being ready with that the right stick, moving just slightly, not over moving, just enough to cover that the shot uh, for post. Uh, good challenge here, and the chance here for the counter attack. And you see that he's uh, so compact, but still, when it goes forward, it opens up. He's uh, just uh, pressing that L1 to activate uh, these runs, and the bridge here as well. And here, though, you don't see this so often. In this case, uh, most players would use maybe the driven cross or the lofted cross, or maybe even here a lofted pass. But he will use here instead a driven pass uh, instead. And he has this vision, he, he can see this, and it is uh, just perfect with the drone pass as well. Works uh, just fine. So 4 1 after first half, and he will also end this uh, with the Neymar, and he's using uh, step overs as well. I mean, all the best pros are using uh, that move. If you look at the best players at, at the moment, top 10 players, all of them are using step overs, of course, as it is at the moment, I think, maybe the best move in the game. In the end, this game finished off in like 7-4, but there was no more interest after 5-1. Next up, he had a very tough game and this uh, sequence here is really mesmerizing. How many times he's switching players? He's so active with the switching and almost only switching with the right stick as well. Rarely using L1 switching, you can see now, I think in this whole sequence, which is lasting for around uh, 30 seconds, he's switching almost 20 times. And you ask yourself, how many times here would you switch? And many people would just stay with the same player, just to cutting off with the midfielder. But he's so active all the time, reading, switching, reading, switching, all the time trying to predict the, the next move of the opponent and cutting off here every pass. In the end, he's gonna find here the pass inside and then he's gonna use now the L1 switch to activate the Mondi, the closest player, and stop this in the end. But he is so active in his defense, so many switches, that is uh, really mesmerizing. And the stepovers, they are good. They boost the stepover as well, as we learned the last week. He knows this by now, of course. He is uh, one of the best players in the world. He, he's gonna use these uh, very meta moves. A mistake uh, from the opponent. And just simple, just simple. And one thing, he is so determined, so resolute, and so clinical. I barely saw him here miss one chance in these highlights, and that is uh, kind of scary. But he has that composure in front of the net, never rushing, always calm, and waiting for the best option. And he always wants to keep uh, his uh, team close together, keep them compact, to keep the different team ports uh, just with a very close distance. That's why he's using a lot of uh, offside traps. Just the D-pad down, down, as you can see here, plenty of uh, times, but always, always, always being careful and covering that the through ball as well. Always having his vision at the back, so that he's not uh, going to concede any cheap uh, through balls. And uh, also as well, as we saw, he's using speed jockey, but not only that, also using the gas and brake technique. Uh, just sprinting forward R2, and then when he comes close, releasing R2, and then just uh, being careful with the jockey. Combining sprint and jockey classical uh, defensive technique and uh, here as well and never being lazy Always 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 making sure that he's gonna stop this uh, cheap call You see now covering off uh, this dangerous pass and when this is gone when this threat is gone Then making sure to apply pressure play this is all textbook, but he always does this he never cheats He's always so so disciplined uh, in defense, but this time though he gets a bit unlucky and opponent uh, scores a goal So even though sometimes if you defend perfectly, you can still of course uh, concede goals in this game And he reads the gameplay as well in this case scanning the pitch and seeing okay Where is the gap here? It is okay then rise take switch pinpoint the player and take the ball that is uh, very active and small defending. Now we're gonna see a longer attacking sequence with a lot of focus on this uh, defense, of course, since it is uh, so good. But you also see how he attacks, how he's uh, so patient and not rushing anything. Always making sure to take that extra touch if he has uh, no options. In this case here, he's, he's gonna go back and using a lot of his uh, midfielders here to make sure that he's gonna find some new passing options. Back again, you see, no options. Okay, so he goes back. And then in this case, just some left stick dribbling. And also here combining with some ball rolls as well. But you see, not rushing, not trying any 50-50s. 
just going for that the safe option and waiting until the perfect chance but when he gets a chance when it opens up like this he is determined and he's gonna go for the skill right away with the killer instinct no hesitation but now it gets interesting this matchup was i think from last weekend he matched up against umut the teammate with anders vergang and at this point umus was undefeated as well he had i think 218 or something and uh, one dc so no losses either and this was really a battle of uh, for champions giants and now we're gonna see how how he acts uh, in these moments and also he is showing in this game from his perspective as well uh, previous games was from champs channel but uh, julian here sent me uh, his footage to watch in this game and i don't uh, understand dutch but i know that this is uh, striker to uh, drop back using uh, d-pad and uh, yes this is a telebroadcast i think also with uh, some kind of custom settings here it might be maximum height and minimum zoom i think 20 zero in height and zoom but yes as you understand almost all the best players are using here Telebroadcast because it gives you simply the best overview and overlook uh, of the pitch and uh, Julian also here scores the first goal He has a 1-0 but Umut will answer with a very nice one With the classical 1-2 to pass 1-2 it is clean and it's a good one And he finds a 1 back 1-1 one, one. And this game was really gonna be um, a thriller until the end With the plenty of goals uh, here he's gonna find the opening Looking for his cam finding this and some quick passing but this though he gets a bit lucky but he finds the chance in the box when you're in the box is always going to be dangerous and as well always making sure to use that offside trap from kickoff to minimize the kickoff goals against you uh, so 2 1 so far and he's gonna have a chance here to score maybe one more Vieira trying to find something but again you see if he doesn't have a 100% chance he's gonna go back and wait for it just wait for it and then he finds the opening uh, gives the opponent his back and uh, just waiting for that the right moment uh, to strike uh, Neymar here trying something but this time though he will overdo it slightly maybe also he missed uh, in a patch notes uh, that the running face shot uh, was nerfed in this uh, last patch also using some uh, team press as well being ready with that um, and using a lot of his uh, d-pad tactics uh, strike a drop back offside trap uh, team press always ready with uh, that as well uh, but this time uh, Umut will play himself out of pressure and find a chance and this is actually quite the cheap goal to concede and that happens sometimes when you use the uh, team press and opponent simply beats uh, that the uh, first pressure play your defense gets uh, quite uh, dismantled and uh, disorganized so we have a 2-2 half time second off now and out of nowhere chance uh, for uh, uh, Julian opens up uh, completely and he is so safe uh, so clinical in his finishing always making sure to go for that the best option and he now has a 3-2 and this sequence is uh, quite long here and showing again his patience up front and how he wants to find that uh, safe chance he's so good on the ball and using now some step overs as well on the ball and not only using the same skill move over and over again and also a lot with the left stick just uh, no strafe dribbling no agile dribbling just the left stick and in the end he's gonna find a chance as well and now we thought that this was uh, all over but not yet Umu still has uh, some more uh, tricks in his uh, locker this is uh, some uh, well his special trick which he's most known for the first time face shot the second time this game and it is now pretty much uh, game on again but can uh, just Julian keep the ball here for the last minutes answer is uh, no he's gonna give uh, Umu here one more chance uh, to go forward uh, so it's 3-4 uh, now last chance what a pass and what a first touch and he's gonna take one for the team Varan is he gonna get sent off no only yellow card but yes in the end uh, Umut will find here a great chance 18 meters direct free kick or a short one most likely short one for, uh, for the pros and yes he will do it but blocked from Julian and just cleared here and he gets the win in the end a very tense game but he's gonna stay here uh, undefeated Julian van der Berde, a really unreal player 270 wins in a row as we said and also make sure to give this man a follow I left his uh, Twitter down below and his YouTube channel as well where he does uh, some videos in English you can also watch that the video about his uh, custom tactics and instructions so yes the summary of his gameplay in the defense a very active switcher switching a lot 
and almost only using the right stack as well to really pinpoint and switch to the right player trying to also stay one step ahead of the opponent and very compact and careful almost no mistakes and not trying to rush anything always going for that the safe option in defense and making sure to uh, cutting off the dangerous passes and the depth but also when he gets a chance he's gonna move forward and pressure as well but yes mainly compact and careful and also using plenty of uh, speed jockey but not only also using the gas and brake technique with R2 and L2 and up front he is determined he knows what he wants he has a very clear plan trying to find uh, the striker in the box and from there he is determined and fast he also has uh, plenty of uh, variation in his skill moves as well not only doing the same thing which makes it hard here for the opponent to read uh, his skills but mainly his main thing is his patience so patient on the ball just holding the ball and waiting for the perfect moment until it opens up and from there bam he's gonna go for that quick move and most likely also score a goal let's see now who's gonna be the first one to reach 300 wins in champs is it gonna be Vergang or van der Berg? road to 300 wins starts now good luck guys they are nuts they are nuts man applause all right guys that is it for today i hope you appreciated this video and this series analyzing some other pro players gameplay if you want to see more of this make sure to drop a like and we're gonna find some more gems so thanks so much for watching as always you know until next time Take care.